Howard Kurtz is going to go after John Stewart here. Let's listen. Last Sunday, we explored the deep cultural significance of John Stewart mocking the Obamacare rollout because of his generally liberal bent. And it turns out I gave him some fodder for The Daily Show. And it's made the president some fierce adversaries, one in particular. If you've lost John Stewart, you're in deep trouble. If you lost John Stewart, you got problems. Even John Stewart this week taking shots at Obamacare. What impact does that have on the whole uh, public dialogue? <laughs> What impact does, does me have on the, the public dialogue? I guess it is very significant that even John Stewart, even John Stewart has turned against this. I can't recall even John Stewart ever doing that before. Okay, it was funny, but this is a neat little game that Stewart plays. He wants to be a cutting edge media and political critic. Remember the rally for sanity in Washington? And he's good at it. But if you say he's having an impact, he says, Bois? Come on, I don't have any influence. I'm just a guy telling smutty jokes on basic cable. Howard Kurtz is so, so insufferable. So, first of all, all the clips that he played of Jon Stewart, none of them were the actual points that Jon Stewart made. It was the lead up to when he actually made his point and made his criticism. Notice Howard Kurtz couldn't play any of Jon Stewart's criticisms. Why? Because all of them were true. And you know that, it, that if he played those, he didn't have a response. He didn't have a rebuttal, so he couldn't do it. And then uh, he totally missed the point. So first of all, Jon Stewart uh, argued that night, because I saw it, uh, that he always goes after the sacred cows of Fox News and people like Howard Kurtz and when he does that, he gets no mention whatsoever. And he's treated like a fringe radical who, <laughs> why, why would you pay attention to him? He's just a comedian, right? And the example Stewart gave was, oh, Dick Cheney, going after Dick Cheney, going after George Bush. And there was one person who even had said that, oh, you know, if John Stewart goes after you, you should step down. And of course, he was talking about President Obama. The guy was using that as a smear, right? And Stewart like played a list of all the other people he had made fun of, and he was like, should all of them step down too? I'm just using your own logic here. So they ignore him if, if he doesn't uh, suit their preconceived narrative. So that's one of the points he was making, and that's totally true. And uh, second of all, just like Stewart has said in the past to Chris Wallace's face in an epic interview, uh, the tragedy is that Jon Stewart is given credence in this world when he is literally a comedian, right? Like all the, he's always making like fart jokes and you know, throwing low blows and whatnot because that's his goddamn job. But the reason why he's giving credence is because the media is so goddamn bad at their job that people trust Jon Stewart over the media. People trust Jon Stewart over Howard Kurtz and over Fox News and CNN and a lot of the time MSNBC as well. And if those guys did their job well, Nobody would take Stewart seriously because he would just be the guy making fun of the news as opposed to the news channels actually delivering the news in a serious way that is almost unmockable. By the way, if you deliver the news in a, in a factual way and talk about things that are true, who can mock that? You can't mock that. But since they, they rarely ever do that, it's ripe for the mocking, which is why people trust Jon Stewart. And last thing I want to say here is about Howard Kurtz, man. Look, Howard Kurtz, it is hilarious that this guy still thinks he can, he, he can be on TV and be taken seriously. He got fired from CNN and The Daily Beast for serial inaccuracy. He constantly and repeatedly made factual errors. And it was only after all of that that Fox News picked him up. What a surprise there. Now, the other thing about Kurtz that... I, it makes him, honestly, one of the most annoying people in media. Because at least with Bill O'Reilly, you know what you're getting. With the Rush Limbaugh's and, and Sean Hannity's, you know what you're getting. Howard Kurtz has this false sense of being the only one that's above the fray and telling it like it is. But in reality, Howard Kurtz is the absolute king. He is the emperor of the false equivalence uh, tactic and strategy. Where every single show is all right, uh, give me 50% Democratic talking points, we'll give you credit there. 50% Republican talking points, we'll give you credit there. And then 50% disagreement with the Democrats, 50% disagreement with the Republicans. Uh, and it's, got, it's so ridiculous when it goes to Howard Kurtz that uh, 
so my partner's over at TYT. One of the uh, members of the network is uh, Jimmy Dore. He's a comedian, and he also has a great radio show and does some other things. And there's literally a joke that's like after Howard Kurtz, that comes from Howard Kurtz, because he does it so much that it's, it's laughable, where they go, yeah, both sides do it. Yeah, both sides do it. 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 No matter what the issue, both sides do it. Both sides do it. Uh, war in Iraq. Both sides do it. Both sides do it. Uh, not wanting to raise the minimum wage. Both sides do it. Both sides do it. Uh, I don't know. You name the issue. Being anti-abortion. Both sides do it. Both sides do it. Uh, making up things about the economy. Both sides do it. Both sides do it. No, we don't live in a world where it's actually 50-50. But that's the thing is that Howard Kurtz values neutrality over objectivity. When the only thing he should care about is objectivity, neutrality shouldn't even be on the goddamn list. It shouldn't even be in the same room. Neutrality has nothing to do with journalism. It should all be about objectivity because objectivity is the truth, is the information.